Hello students, welcome back. Today we will see the most amazing fact about square numbers. So let's see what the fact is. Here we know we have written square numbers from 1 to 5. 1 square 1, 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25 and so on. If we observe, what we come to know is 1 plus 2, only consecutive we are referring to 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And if we find the difference between the square numbers 4 minus 1 uh, is 3. Again take any consecutive uh, pair. Let us take 3 and 4. So 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. And if we find the difference between their squares 16 minus 9 is also 7. So after knowing this how this uh, fact is useful for us how we will use it so let us assume that we do not know the square of 5 we do not know that 5 square is 25 but you know 4 square is 60 okay but you know this concept so you just add 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 and you know 16 you add this 9 to the 16. So you will get 16 plus 9 is 25. Why you are adding 9? Because you know the fact that 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. And which is the sum of these numbers 4, 4 and 5. 9. Now let's take this square number. 10. Square of 10 is 100. Okay. If we know this and we are confused what might be the square of 11. Okay, so what you have to do is 10 plus 11. What is 10 plus 11? It is 21. You just add 21 to this. So you get 121. Okay, now let's find square of 12. What you have to do is 11 plus 12 is 23. Just add 23 to 121 and you get 144. Square of 12 is 144. So now next number. 13 square. What you have to do is. 12 plus 13 is 25. And just add 25 to 144. And you get 169. So simple. So, so now let's start with this square number. You are uh, your teacher has told. Uh, to write the square numbers from 20 to 30 and you are clueless how you will write the square numbers in very in just a uh, few minutes so if you know the fact that the sum of the square roots is equal to difference of their squares so 20 plus 21 is 41 so you just add 41 to this and you will get the square of 21 yes then you find the square of 22 square 22 very easily you know now see this is also with a gap of 41 43 45 this will be the sum of the consecutive numbers you will get 21 plus 22 is 43 you just add 43 here okay 4 8 4 yeah then 23 square you know the sum will be next odd number 45 you just add 45 here you will get 9, 2, 5, 29, 24 square. Now, without any calculation, you add the next odd number here. 576 is the square of 24. So, likewise, you keep on writing the square numbers. 25 square, just add the next uh, odd number and you get 625. Then 26 square or if you are not sure now which number should add you can again go and add these two numbers so that you add here 51 and you get 676. This is so easy when you know the fact that the sum of the consecutive numbers is equal to the difference between their squares. 
so based on this fact if we are given a question the difference between the squares of two consecutive natural numbers is 4013 find their sum so if you know this fact that the sum of the consecutive numbers is always equal to the difference between their squares then you will directly write that the answer is 4013 because they have asked their sum and they are they have not asked those numbers so we directly write 4013 as their sum let's take another question now the question is which of the following can be the difference between the squares of consecutive numbers so options are 3 4 5 2 451 578 8826 now you know the fact what is the fact the fact is sum of consecutive numbers is equal to the difference between their squares so what can be the sum of the consecutive numbers can it be even no it should always be odd if you want to check see 21 take some a pair of consecutive numbers what is the sum of these numbers it is 43 take any other pair 45 and 46 it is 91 the sum is 91 so and that is obvious because odd number plus even number has to be odd number the sum of odd and even number has to be an odd number and consecutive numbers cannot be both even or both odd they have to be a pair of a odd number and an even number okay so odd plus even has to be odd and any odd number can be the answer okay so let's rewrite some square numbers so let's start writing square numbers from 100 why i have chosen a number 100 because i it's very easy to write a square number of 100 so 100 into 100 will have four zeros after one that is 10000 so my next number will be 101 square so i know the fact that the sum of the consecutive numbers what is the sum of these two numbers uh, it is 201 so i just to i add 201 to these numbers and i get 10201 as the square of 101 then i go up to find a square of 102 square i know the next number has to be 203 i just had 203 here and it happens to be 404 10404 it is so easy you can start with any known square number any easy square number and you can just find out all the square numbers after that so this the sum of these two numbers will be 205 and you just add 205 to this number you get Six zero one zero six zero nine. It is so easy. So hope you have understood this concept. And uh, if you have liked this video, uh, do write how it was useful to you while solving uh, questions of Olympiad or any entrance exam questions. Thank you so much.